Well, temperatures are in the 30s and 40s right now. It is 41 in Tyler, 36 in Mineola, 40 in Sulphur Springs, 35 in Mount Pleasant, 33 in Linden, and it's 40 right now in Henderson, 36 in Nacogdoches. Now, here's the bus stop forecast, and, you know, I understand it. If you're a little frustrated with what we've seen over the last several days where we've had pretty warm afternoons after some pretty chilly mornings, and today it's going to be the same thing. So dress the kids in layers while they're waiting for the bus stop this morning, but they will probably not need the layers this afternoon with those temperatures being back in the 70s, and that's where we were yesterday. However, that's not where we will be as we head into tomorrow. Cold front is on the way. It is moving closer and closer to Dalhart, Texas, one of the last towns in the state of Texas before you cross the border into New Mexico on the way to Raton, New Mexico, where the mountains begin. So the cold front will approach us. It arrives after midnight tonight. In the meantime, enjoy this nice weather while it lasts because it's not lasting into the weekend. Winds will pick up a little bit out of the south today. Temperatures in the 60s by lunchtime. And then by 6, 7 o'clock, that is when we do start to see those clouds filter in. Increasing clouds this evening and overnight tonight. I'll pause this at about 7 o'clock. You notice the front. It rolls through the area by that time. As a result, temperatures will be in the 30s and 40s. So it will be a chilly morning to start out and it's just going to remain chilly throughout the day. One thing to note, we've got relatively dry air tomorrow morning. However, that's not the case as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Watch what happens at three o'clock. Clouds move back into the area. This is called the wraparound of the storm system that I just showed you. We're just going to see clouds for most locations, but in our northeastern counties, that's where we could see a little bit of flurries or snow showers, flurries, what have you. But with these temperatures being a degree or two above freezing, I don't expect any accumulation. I certainly don't expect any travel impacts. It would just be cool to see a snowflake in Cass or Morris County right there. But most of that's done by early Sunday morning. We will start out in the 20s and 30s with mostly sunny skies. Now, here is tomorrow evening's forecast. Flurries possible for our northeastern counties. Again, does not amount out to anything, but for the remainder of the area, you notice that big word on the screen, just cloudy. And it will be cloudy through most of your evening, but we do begin to dry out on Sunday. Lots of sunshine around. We hit 50. We're at 60 Monday, 66 Tuesday, so you notice we're kind of reclimbing that temperature ladder for your Tuesday into Wednesday. Cold front, though, arrives Wednesday, and that will drop our temperatures back into the 50s. Deep East Texas, similar trend. We are at 74 today, 22 temperature difference between this afternoon and tomorrow afternoon, 51 Sunday, 60s return as we are climbing that roller coaster once again, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. But thankfully, Corinne looks more like the Texas giant rather than the Titan at six flights. <laughs> so we're not reaching the 70s and the 80s. Right, right, right. We're just reach, reaching the middle, yeah, just like, the upper ooh, 60s. Like that. But I mean, 20 <laughs> degrees difference. It's still you're, you're going to feel it. You'll feel a 20 degree difference. But mm -hmm. I mean, I love this weather, this cooler weather, the cooler temperature. That's like yeah. my jam. I know you like it too. I know a lot of people don't, yeah. which is okay because we're going to have a little bit warmer weather today. So yeah, I mean, it's funny. It's I'm just saying, I mean, we will have plenty of.